What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Backlash 2024 predictions video. Backlash takes place this Saturday, May the 4th from France of all places. This should be great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this video is being recorded after the Go Home Raw, but before the Go Home Smackdown. So as always, if there are any matches added, I will add them in the description and in the comments alongside my prediction. Without further ado, ladies and gents, this isn't a very long card, so let's get right into it. Kicking off the show, we have a tag team match between the Bloodline, Solo Sokoa, and the debuting Tama Tonga, taking on Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Now, with the new debut of the new Bloodline, or whatever's going on there, and Tama Tonga having his first proper match, there is no way that Solo and Tama are losing this one. They are winning. They are picking up the W over Randy and Kevin. Solo and Tama to pick up the victory. The Kabuki Warriors defending the Women's Tag Team Championships up next. We have got, obviously, Asuka and Kairi Sane, the champions, taking on the team of Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill. Now, this one is going to be interesting. I don't really know what to do here. I, I think I'm going to go with Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair to pick up the Women's Tag Team Championships because these two, this is a dream match. And I really, really think having a run as the tag team champions and then maybe having Bianca turn on Jade to then build to a potential SummerSlam one-on-one -on -one dream match between the two is the direction WWE are going to go with. But do they do it at Backlash or do we hold off a little while longer? I don't know. Why not? I am going with Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair to beat the Kabuki Warriors and take the Women's Tag Team Championships. A triple threat match now for Bailey's WWE Women's Championship. We have Bailey defending her title against Naomi and Tiffany Stratton. I don't have much to say about this one, guys. I don't see Naomi picking it up. I think it's still too early for Tiffany too, although she's fantastic. Bailey's just won the championship, and I definitely feel like she's retaining it at Backlash. Don't know who she's going to be pinning. Most likely Tiffany, uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Either way, Bailey to retain the title. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as well, with Damian Priest defending the title, I believe, for the first time, taking on main event Jay Uso. Now, this has been built up a little bit over Raw on the last couple of weeks. Do I see Jay taking the championship? Definitely not, especially after that match with Jimmy at WrestleMania. It just... You can't give the world title to the, that guy uh, just yet. I really like Jey Uso. I think he's talented. I think he's great. But he is not world championship level at the moment. Can he be built there? Absolutely. But I think if you're going to give Jay a shot with a singles title, it should be the Intercontinental Championship before you skyrocket him to the main event in the world heavyweight title picture. I have got Damian Priest retaining over Jey Uso. And that brings us to the main event of the evening. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles, taking on Cody Rhodes for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Cody defending the title against AJ. Now, these two haven't really crossed paths ever. They have always been, like, wherever AJ has gone, Cody has gone next. They've never really been in the same place at the same time. And this match should, fingers crossed, be, no pun intended, phenomenal. And I can't wait to see it. However, there is no way that AJ is beating Cody. AJ is here as a credible opponent to put over the new champion. And Cody Rhodes will 100% be walking away from Backlash as the WWE champion. Mark my words. And that was it, guys. That is the Backlash card. As you can see, it's a bit of a, a bit of a, I don't want to say a nothing premium live event, a nothing pay-per-view, because that's not the case. But it is definitely just, we need a pay-per-view after WrestleMania, and this is what we're going to book. It's not quite house show level. Uh, it's a little bit above that, but it's not necessarily a full-on pay-per-view either. You know, if the network wasn't still a thing in the UK, I wouldn't be paying, uh, like, £25 or whatever it would be to watch this event live. It just, I just would not be doing it. Uh, but that's not to discredit anyone involved. And either way, just, you know, there's nothing really super going to happen story-wise, that doesn't mean the show isn't going to be good 
wrestling wise. So check it out if you can. Once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been Joe from Joe Sauce Wrestling. Before I uh, do the outro, I just want to say I'm actually at a show on Saturday, so I won't be live reacting to Backlash. But if I'm wrong and something massive does happen, then I will try and get a reaction video up at some point. But, you know, if, if nothing happens, then don't expect too much Backlash content from me. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Let me know your Backlash predictions in the comment section down below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.